Hey everyone, this is Justin. You are. And this is the Daily Bugle Media Podcast, I guess. Brought to you by Red Lotus Productions. Um, so we're going to talk about the good old Ant-Man. And the Wasp. And the Wasp, and the wasp, wasp my bad. Quantum Mania. Also, I'll talk about Level Up Expo. It was pretty cool. I got some good stories. Went to the after party on Friday. It was pretty funny. It was a bunch of just drunk nerds. So it was pretty cool. That's like it was like a, a yearly thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's every year. Yeah, That's so I feel like it's probably way more fun in Vegas than it would be like out here. Yeah, yeah. The after party, they had like these dancers. Oh, I'll get into it later, but it was these dancers, and they ended up. You could tell the two that was acting like real crazy were strippers, and people were throwing money at them. They were just doing stripper moves on stage. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get into this movie. Um. Obviously, there's been a lot of shows and movies that came out, uh, and I, I, I'll say for, obviously, a Phase 4 movie. Is this the last of the Phase 4? I think so. I think so. Let me look that up. So, I'm just going to run with it and say it is the last of the Phase 4. Um, so it's like a theme, because usually Batman movies end in the Phase, right? Yeah. I feel it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, um, but I, I I'll say first off I I did enjoy some parts. I thought some parts were really fucking annoying. Um, but as we'll go, we'll just go through the movie. We'll t- maybe we'll start off with characters and we we'll go from there, and then things that relevate uh, resonate with it. Do you think you want to do like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll start off with Ant Man's character. Um, what do you think? What do you think about? Let's, let's just do Ant Man, the Wasp. And we'll do his daughter, who's Stinger or Stature, whichever one she is. Yeah, yeah Stinger. Or, yeah. yeah. Or, um, all right. So we'll start off with start off with Ant-Man. Um, okay. It's Paul. Right? You can't you can't hate Paul right? I like um, <clears throat> I like the beginning. Yeah, how he's like married and like walking down the street with like all the stuff he's been through. Yeah. He um he got a little bit more badass in the movie, you know, like like and he did like, actually have a, like a character arc in the movie, which was cool. Yeah, I I, I think so. Too. Like I I agree because uh if you if you did I, I didn't watch the other movies, but like after watching like Screen Crush like that, they they always go back to other things in the old movies. Him showing that uh, well, him just like he was always there for his daughter, so like. Now it's like more serious because his daughter was in, in trouble. Because that's when you seen always pull around the most serious when he was like when uh, Yellow Jack was trying to kill his daughter and shit like that. So I, I did. Yeah. yeah, I had no problems with Paul Red. And like, I actually recently like at, uh, when I was at work, I watched like the the other two Ant Man movies just because and uh, I, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the movies more than, than, than I did, like, like than, than I would originally, you know, like, uh, yeah. I rewatched them, I was like, this isn't a bad, like, especially, like, you don't expect that from Ant Man, so, yeah, just I didn't really expect much from this movie, so it's probably why I liked it more than I did, especially, like, I left the theater, and I was like, yeah, uh, it was okay, like, and, like, the more I learned about it, and I watched the three videos, I definitely started to, like, really good stuff that yeah. I didn't like, but... I did. I did like how these. I. I think. I'm pretty sure all three movies were the same director, and he was. He's very. He's not like a James Gunn where like he's gonna push back on his creative ideas. I feel like this guy pretty much did what Marvel wanted them to do because he's not a very big actor. I mean, a director. But I did like the consistency between the movies because sometimes we'll get like, you know, we'll get like uh, different different directors on different like whether it's Thor and shit like that, and then it's kind of like inconsistencies. But this one had like. A lot of consistencies from the first one and like playbacks to it as well, which is really cool. I, I liked, so that was that was pretty nice. Um, did you? Well, yeah, like with Paul Rudd, like I have no complaints with about Paul Rudd. Um, I didn't like how they kept saying like, "Oh, you're not doing anything with your life." That that was kind of stupid. I thought I was like, like, dude, shut up! Like, 
Yes, the daughter annoyed me the entire time I couldn't stand her. Yeah, I. But her was a very annoying at first. Um, and then when I, I only think I, I think at the end she had maybe like she wasn't as annoying. Maybe like her that was her Kello character development because when she hugged her dad, she was like, "I messed up. I I, I should have never done that." Like. When I think when she brought Kang there or something like that. Yeah. I forgot what it was, but she, like, yeah, yeah. And people started dying, and she was like, "Oh my god, I, I did that." So I thought that was like maybe that was her, her turning a, like I guess a corner and like not being as annoying and like so gung ho. But she, yeah, overall her character kind of just annoyed the shit on me. We're gonna get to the clown room, and I'll we'll tell her one story about how they're being oppressed. So she has to help them. Like you don't know shit. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> I feel like Hope wasn't in it enough. The Wasp, I thought she was pretty cool for for a bit. Her coming, oh, yeah. her her coming back to help uh, Scott Lang at the end was pretty cool. Um, I kind of wish we got stuck in the quantum realm. I thought they were going to. That's what. That been a- yeah, I thought when Paul Rudd stayed behind, I thought he was going to actually die or something. Like I thought, once he stayed behind, I was like, oh, he's going to stay there, get stuck with him. Cause they, they they hyped it up in the trailer saying like oh I don't have to win we just both have to lose and stuff like that so it's mm-hmm. like they kind of hyped it up like it would be that but I don't know. it's kind of bummer and then I heard like, like my- watching the screen crush they said that they they they, they believe it was uh, some reshoots for them to get yeah. back but yeah, yeah I, 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 thought, I thought like I thought like, like, when she came, she came back, back and like that was a while that was gonna end it like that and I thought it was so cool but. Of course, they had to have like, a happy ending. Yeah, um, I would say kind of like, uh, like I, I guess her daughter is like super smart, but I don't know where did she get that smartness from, right? Like I don't know, she could just like, build quantum <laughs> things. This dude was gone for a few years, and, like yeah, so he's only gone for like five years. Yeah, she just knows how to do this shit, and she then like, and like the can can't get out of there. He can't figure nothing out. Which is kind of like this dude is like seen he's seen it all like uh, like Kang's been, been like he knows different universes. I feel like he could figure out how to get out of that area before she could I, build I, the I quantum room. Freaking quantum mechanics in like the matter of like five years or whatever. Yeah, to get out of the quantum room without anybody else's help. Yeah. Uh, so, do you have anything to say about what you liked about Wasp? Um. I don't know. I, there's nothing wrong with the character. I like this. I don't know. She didn't really. Yeah, just yeah. She just wasn't in a lot. I don't think. Um, yeah, actually, she could have been in it more. It's called Ant Man and the Wasp, but um, I thought her suit was dope. Yeah, her suit was pretty, pretty yeah. funny though. I like when they did the suits on. I know how they like, have like a little like patch or whatever. They just like, and the suit just comes on. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Was it, was it kind of like it, it's small and it gets bigger? Yeah, yeah, but it's like that. Like, like, yeah. That's pretty so that was cool. How'd you like uh Hank Pym and Janet Pym? Janet fucking pissed me off. Bro. Like, like, like I knew she would. I knew she would pissed you off. All she had to do is just give give some exposition, but no, she's gonna be like Stop, stop it. You have to be quiet. You can't talk about that. Like, you, you know, damn well, it's going to explore the quantum realm. All she has to do is make it stay in the sound. It was fucking like, it was fucking like, 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 not saying anything. And they're already there. Like, like, yeah. Um, I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was kind of annoying. Like, she was just like, I don't want to lie to my daughter. And I'm like, that's all you've been doing this whole fucking movie, bro. You've just been lying. Cause I've been, I've, it was like, I, f- I forgot what scene it was. She was just like, she was like, I just don't want to lie to my, like, I told my, oh, I told my daughter that I would come back all those years ago and I did it. I don't want to lie to her. Yeah. And, and she's like, I don't want to lie to her again. And then I literally looked at my girl. I was like, I'm like, bro, she's literally lying right now. Like, she just, she doesn't want to tell the truth and shit. Like, what, like how does that make sense to me? That that was very annoying to me. She annoyed me. Hank him annoyed me. He was like an idiot in a movie. Yeah. Like, she's, she's telling her, she's like, keep your head down, blah, blah, blah. And he's over there talking to people, like, letting people don't know that from there. Like, yeah. Like, just, just, and also, like, she's not explaining anything like, oh, back to Janet. She's not explaining shit. Like, she, she's like, I'm going to hotwire this, 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 this shit. Um, she's like, here, you're going to fly. Like, didn't explain to him how to fly the ship. She just gave no explanation for anything ever. She just, like, expected everybody to know. 
Okay. Yeah, and them fighting needs to go. I'm sick of these old ass people with their CGI scenes. Like, bro, I'm so sick. Of, I'm sick of these old people fighting, bro. And her and Kang's goons were the worst goons ever. Like they would just be walking next to her and they're like, and you know, they did it like three times. I'm like, how how many times the same tricks and keep working on these fucking guys, bro? Yeah, like the fuck? It's because they can't see out of those stupid ass helmets. <laughs> yeah, those are like some of the worst henchmen ever. Uh, did you like uh, Bill Murray's part? I did. I, that, I that, did that too. Was when, was Bill Murray, I was when he was like Lord Cryler, I was like, oh, I like this Bill Murray. It's a shame he had to die or whatever. He he died from one of the things he was eating because he got bigger. Yeah, but yeah. I thought that, that was funny. I was thinking about this today. I was like, I feel like this Ant Man is like. You did, would you say one, this Ant Man is one of the better ones? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. I feel like it was, it's like the the Thor Ragnarok of the Ant Man series. It was like yeah, very yeah. colorful. Um, I don't know. You you said you did see the screen crush thing where they said like uh, it's the same writer from um, Rick and Morty. Is it the same writer from Rick and Morty? It's one. It's one of the same writers that did like one of their most popular episodes. Um, nice. And, Go ahead, sorry. Me think of Rick and Morty I was watching it, though. With all those creatures, yeah, that, that's, and they kind of, like, did some, like... Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. It was, like, one of the original writers who did, like, one of the best episodes, and, like, he, he... So when he did that, it was, like, very similar. He had a lot of similarities to, like, how, like, all the creepy worlds they go to and shit. So I yeah, thought that yeah, was pretty then, cool. Then, like, the Council of Kings. I just thought about the Council of Rick. Like, <laughs> you seen that? It's from a... It's from an actual comic, and then I didn't realize one of the... I never realized. I didn't know one of Kang's was that dude in Mortis. Um, he was one of the Kangs from the of the universe. He was like the one that was in the front, not the one that looked like the Pharaoh. He had like a, a big old hat and he had like the the mustache like this coming down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in the in, in the comics, when um, I don't think they're obviously not going to explore this, but in the comics, Mortis was the guy who uh, who brainwashed Captain Marvel and like raped her and impregnated her and shit like that. From the comics. They do that in the comics. Yeah. That's, dark, man. That's why Captain Marvel was one of my favorite because she goes through she goes through a lot of crazy shit. But you know, in the movies, she's just fucking garbage, bro. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Movies we won't talk about. Uh, let's see, let's see. I thought it was. I also thought of uh, because this movie, like, I, I don't know why, I just wasn't like hundred percent tuned into this movie, like. There's a lot, like, I feel like it didn't keep me in as much. Like, there'd be so many parts, like, when they're like, Janet, how'd you know that name, Janet? And I, and I thought of, oh, fuck, this is just like Martha, bro. When they're like, Martha? I, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> how do you know that name? That's my yeah. yeah. It was just like, yeah, yeah. It, it was just kind of like, like that, that was kind of annoying, kind of random. Um, <laughs> yo, one part I really liked that did have me laughing when they're like, when they make, uh, make him drink the goop. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then like then um yeah, like, yeah I, I, I like how you slowly started to understand what they were saying, and then I like how like that little gel thing was talking to him. Yeah, like, oh, my host do that. Yeah, uh, in the in the screen crest, they said that guy, the the person who does the voice of him, he's one, you know, he's one of the the the, the oh, con yeah, man, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Like, yeah, that, 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 that Russian that, guy, German that, guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying earlier how like I like how like this movie is like you could tell the director like he did a lot what Marvel wanted and when she, you know how she, Kath not Kathy what's her fucking name what's uh the girl who plays Stinger or whatever I I don't remember Ant Man's daughter's name Cassie Cassie and that uh, she said she was hoping helping those like clearing out the homeless in, in places and you seen how like they it, that was also from Spider Man as well and um and she, I think She Hulk as well. Thanks. No, oh, yeah, Captain. Yeah, yeah, and that was in oh, that was in Winter Soldier and Falcon, and that was in uh, Spider Man. So I thought that was pretty cool that they kind of kept consistency with, yeah, consistency yeah. with it. But uh, yeah, cool. what else did I write down? I also seen that uh, that they believe that uh, like they've seen a lot of correlation between like this, you know, how the Celestials when they do like patterns on the walls and then oh, oh, yeah, yeah. internals. Yeah. yeah, and the same they, they think that internals is good, and Shang Chi is to be related to Kang somehow. Not related, but like yeah, yeah. correlation. Yeah, yeah. Because that's why I like the, um, like it's, it's, yeah, from yeah, that, that realm, realm, you know. No, Especially because I think that was what was sending, sending a signal, signal 
at the end of um, the Shang Chi. Yeah, the ring. it makes sense. Oh yeah, I forgot about Especially that. Especially like in, um, in, in the comics, like they obviously changing the rings a little bit, but they came from like the McLuhan's, the something I don't know. Like the dragon people, but like they're um, they're like, like mixing, mixing up, up like, they're like combining like, two things kind of because there's like some other rings that come from from. Um, my bad is on that brother again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna be connected. It'll be cool if they ever show it. Yeah. Um, How um, did you feel about Kang? I loved. It. I liked him a lot. What about you? He's definitely one of the best villains. Yeah. Um, there's the, one part that annoyed me though. It's like when he comes out at the end, he like blasts like people. He's like disintegrated. He would have put some murder Ant Man in the Wasp so goddamn fast. Yeah, hundred percent. Like even she, they nerfed the Wasp with one of it, with one of his blasts, and she just flew away. She didn't disintegrate. Unless yeah, like the suit's like protecting, but I don't fucking know about that. I don't think so. There's no way they could have predicted for that, you know? Yeah. yeah. They nerfed the fuck out of him. I'll tell you that much. I know he, they're like, oh, he doesn't have his full powers yet. I'm like, this motherfucker, like he picked up, you know, Ant Man and just like threw him against a wall and like almost killed Cassie, like. And he was just like, oh, I'll kill your daughter right here if you don't get it from yeah, me. Yeah, and then by the end of the movie, he's just like not doing any of that shit. Yeah, I think this guy, uh, Jonathan Majors, I think he's a hell of a good, really good actor, man. Uh, I love to like how, like, if you look back to, like, uh, Thanos and stuff, and Thanos is just like a fucking brute, and he's, like, grabbing his glove, and he's, like, attacking you. You see how, like, yeah, yeah. Kang was, like, so subtle with everything. Like, he was like... Tw-tw. And, but when he, he got... Like, like, barely moved his hands and stuff like that. Yeah, and then, like... Like if you see when like, they'll come in, I think when they when he found Janet again and she came to see him and he was in his throne and he was just like zoned out. That's because like you know they said that he's always seeing the future, and you realize yeah, yeah. he's he's always like zoned out and shit, like thinking about shit. And I was like, that was pretty yeah, cool little subtle. Thinking, like, past people and stuff. I like the part where, dude, he was cold as so, hell. Like when he was talking to Scott, and he was just like, "I'll I'll kill your daughter and make you relive that moment." Yeah. That's yeah, cause that's the same thing what they did to Loki when he kept getting kicked in the balls and shit. Yeah, yeah. even though that shit is gay as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but no, no I, I like the character. She kept the helmet on the arm. I think he looked badass with that. Yeah, I I I, I don't think that if they, I'd be upset if they actually killed the real like Kang, but I don't think that Kang is dead. I don't, cause I don't what they said in screen crash is like he's just he's stuck, stuck inside, inside of like, like the uh, he got shut down. down. He basically stuck down, kind of like how Scott was stuck. Yeah. Because I got annoyed. I was like, yo, that was like, clearly the best, best thing. Like, that's what I wanted to see. I liked him. I like that version of him and he who remains. Yeah. But he who remains is gonna be back. He said it's just a cycle. So he'll, he'll be back. Like it's, it's, he's gonna fix it all and have that be the same thing again. Yeah, I think yeah, Dungeon is a good, good actor. actor. Just, just, there are parts where we don't watch him. I'm just like, yo, what, what, what is this accent? Like, like he's, he's not, not British. British. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Why is he talking like that? <laughs> no, but like, I like, I like, I like, I like the intensity of him and the anger behind him. Like, especially like when he's like mad and like shooting out blasts. Like, his character is cool. I like how he beat the shit out of Scott. Scott got kind of punches him, but then got his ass beat by him. Yeah, I did like that. Cause I like, like how subtle he was when he was like just going like whatever, like he was just doing this like subtle hand movements. So when he's really going like all out, like yelling and blasting, yeah. it's like it, it makes it seem more like, I don't know, more meaningful. I feel like even though you know he hit Wasp and she nothing happened to her, but yeah, yeah, you know. That um, is. But the Mark, 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 so that's when he got mad when he um, became giant man and just started smashing the city. Yeah, he's like, that, that, you made a promise! Yeah, yeah. I thought that was that badass. I, I, um, I really, really like the, um, the, um, the prob- probability, probability storm. storm. I've seen all those spots. Then you see the one who worked at that time and stuff. Yeah, that shit was funny. <laughs> and he just oh, always yeah. kept coming back. And he's like climbing when he's like climbing the, the wall of Scotch, and then you just see his fucking pink shirt in his arms. Like, come on, man, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I thought that was dope. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really yeah, liked him. I like the suit in the movie. 
I thought because they upgraded the suits they were moving, you know? It was like little subtle things, but I thought that was dope. But Watts' suit was the shit. I really liked her. Yeah. Well, did, you, did you like uh, Modoc? Bro. <laughs> what fucking. That shit looks so ridiculous, dude. Like, I, yeah. like, I just wanted to keep the fucking mask on. Like, stop showing your fucking mask. He did it every um, time, bro. Every time he took the mask off, I was like, stop doing it. We don't want you to do it. joke. He's supposed to be like one of the smartest beings in the comics. This dude's a fucking joke, bro. <laughs> On top of that, when he's trying to kill Cassie, he's like blasting other people, and every time he comes up to her, he's like, this is the end of you, and like fucking, I'm like, and gives her mad time. Then he's like, yeah. I fucking hate when movies and shows do that shit. Just fucking laugh. You don't have to like, just have him shoot and like, have him miss or something like that. Don't fucking have him talk like that the entire time. And it's like, don't, I'm, I don't want to die a dick. It's just like so fucking. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. Like, uh, I, mean, I hated that one interaction. I regretfully had to laugh though at the end when he was just like, you're always my brother. Scott. You're always a brother to me. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he's like, a dying Avenger. <laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 of course, man. <laughs> like, it's a bit okay. Like, I don't know. I thought that whole shit was funny. That, 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 the rest of it. His character is horrible. Like if 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 like my problem was like like the the concept like because like you have Modoc like I, I I thought he was just gonna be like a whole machine like that when he didn't have the mask when he just has a mask on so I was like oh because I was like yeah you just can't have a floating head really so when he did show when he did show the guy and it was the guy from Yellow Jacket and you you know you remember watching the first one when like one of his like, only partial he starts yeah, shrinking yeah. so I get that and I thought that was pretty clever like how they did it like it would make sense like okay his head stays normal but it malfunctions so only certain things got small so it kind of made sense but it was just like he was a fucking joke the whole time he was like oh fucking, fucking joke. joke and then like the CGI looked so bad literally just like yeah. the camera ripped it on his face so he couldn't, yeah. he couldn't make it look any better than that yeah keep the fucking mask on keep the goddamn mask on and don't know it made him a joke, like, it was such a joke kind of thing, like, and, like, if he's gonna be a joke character, let him be a joke character, like, but don't say, like, oh, he, the hunter's gonna go after us, he's, he kills everyone, and then when he does, when he, cause when he first showed up, it was pretty dope, like, it was just, like, you couldn't really see him, and he was just, like, blowing shit up, killing everyone, and I'm like, oh, this dude's a bad motherfucker, and then after yeah, that, yeah. once he shows his face, he's just a fucking joke, he was, like, yeah, supposed yeah. to be, like, a genius and shit. They would not stop showing his face, every time he came up, like, please, please cover that, that monstrosity. Yep. What about uh? Did you like uh? The the, the freedom fighters. No. <laughs> they were stupid. stupid. The guy yeah, that the, the reminds like some of his scenes made me laugh. Um, I was hoping that girl with the, the melty stick would die. She didn't die. Um, the melty stick. I don't know, the main girl, there was, she remember she would hit people and they would like disintegrate with her stuff. Oh, the, 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 the girl, the Amazonian kind of girl? Yeah, I was like, oh, the I thought that was like, so stupid. I thought they were dumb. But, like, I, I she like, killed off one of the characters, but obviously they didn't kill off the real person. They killed off the fucking one of the CGI characters. Like, that was just really, like, some hard part. I wish Marvel was just, like, killing people more hard part. Like, they missed mistakes, bro. Like, Marvel, hey, Marvel. It's only okay to kill someone if they're the bad guy, bro. Because they'll kill every fucking yeah. bad guy you love. Yeah, but, um, that's why I got excited when you look like Scott Ross and stuff in the Quantum Realm. Yeah. That was another thing. Like, maybe it was just because uh, Kang was just such a douche and had to show that he was superior. He did not need to be woman hit, man. He could have jumped through that fucking portal. Yeah. Like, he's, like, talking and kicking him. Like, bitch, he's fucking down. Just run, bro. Yeah. But you know, kind of cheesy when when when, 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 when what's her name when Watts came, came back and just starts like shooting at him. She's like, I don't know the way her arms are moving. She was like, <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like, a little boring. But, but I did like, I really, I really, I really, I really thought that they were gonna get stuck in the quantum realm. And I was, I was like, fucking out. Hey, his 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 daughter's smart, bro. They're, they're all gonna have. You're gonna see these young Avengers are all fucking smart people, I guess. No, is that young Avengers gonna be a movie? It's gonna be a movie, I think. Oh, my God. I think, right? Maybe? I don't know. I hope it's a Disney Plus show, because they're going to make me go to the movie theater to watch that piece of shit. And it's talking too good. People talk about all these young, to be ass kids. And we're fucking lame. Hey, bro, don't talk about She Hulk like that. <laughs> oh, She's not, she can't be in that movie, right? <laughs> and I think She Hulk's going to be with, like, with uh, the Defenders, kind of like uh, Luke Cage and all them, if they have those guys. Oh, my God. 
she really hey she really fucked fucking our blind a blind savior so so I haven't given that show for that I'm glad we I don't think we reviewed that one but thank god man I can't I can't remember that, that. I'm so glad we did I I would have uh unnecessarily have to be more upset for no reason. Yeah, because yeah, I was on the like, I remember keep saying every time I, I, like, I watched it, I was like, fucking this piece of shit. Where is my... What is this? Do, do, do. I'm trying to figure out... I don't know what happened to the... Uh, how you add the, the the box where people... With the conversation box, I can't see anything. Yeah. No, I don't know. I was trying to see like where you can find it at. This is great television. I'll have to do it again later. So people are writing. I'm sorry, I can't see anything. And I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah we have. We have I, think I think we have one viewer. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, is that us? Is that one? Maybe us. Our own. <laughs> 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 Just talking to ourselves. So what do you think that... Oh, go ahead, sorry. I was going to say, I was expecting to watch this, to be honest. I'll keep it up in case someone's, like, chatting. Yeah, we're just back to it. We've been MIA. Yeah, yeah, we're MIA. I can't even talk. I'm a little, I'm a little sick. I, I said Eminem. <laughs> Fuck you. So what do you think's next for the the Marvel Universe now? Like, what's... Do you do you know what's coming up next? That's supposed to be. I, I don't, but I just haven't really cared either. They've been letting me down, but I, I, I hope they do the Kang shit, right? Because I really like John and the Idiot, and I hope they bring back that Kang too, like that version of Kang, because he was the most evil. I think they have to, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't have, if you don't have Kang, bro, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Like, Oh, I, I also I like how the movie ends really kind of way it's like when you walk along the street and all happy and shit, then he just stops and realizes that it probably is over. Oh, shit. It's just like, it's just like, he's like, he said he was going to save the world. Like, what if I... I fucked up, bro. Sorry. I don't know how to get back. I don't know how to get back to the screen labs. Oh, there we go, I think. What happened? There we go. <laughs> Shit, my bad. All right, sorry. But you would, you said you hope they they did them, do them right. Hmm? You said you hope they sorry, do them sorry. right. Sorry, I fucked totally fucked that up. Oh, yeah, we're back, 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 back now. Okay, cool. It took a second. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but I was just thinking how Scott like realized that he, that he he might have messed up, and like how he's like walking, narrating, and then he stops. And he's just like, he's like, oh, wait, but what if I messed up? What? And then he was like, eh, whatever, man. And he on going. And, but that's, that's what the, the Scream Crush said, which was pretty funny. Like, I don't know how they say, like, the nuance is like, but when he did come back after defeating Kang, everything it was like everything was a little bit worse. Like, they knew who he was now. Like, oh, you're Ant-Man. Yeah, oh, yeah. you had to pay $12. And then they got the cake for his daughter, but the cake's disgusting. And he's like, oh, this cake can good. So, like, yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not good. I, I also I, I like the, the whole thing narration too. I like how it cut to him like reading the book. I thought that was. I'll be honest. I thought that was funny. But it's like, oh yeah, look out for the little guy. He's like, <laughs> like I, I don't know. Paul Rudd is such a like likable character. Like, but his like rewatching the last Ant Man movies too. I'm like, yeah, these movies are just entertaining. Like I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't mind the second one. The second one was alright. I like the girl Ghost. She was pretty cool. Her yeah, power yeah. was cool, but and I like the fucking scene where they they hit him with that that, that the Mexican dude with the the troop oh, serum, yeah, bro. Yeah. That, that shit be having me dying. That's so funny. That's the only thing that they should have brought. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Luis. Luis. Yeah. They should have brought him to the quantum realm too. <laughs> He's like, oh damn, far out. But uh, we can also, if you want, we could talk about uh, what you think about this James Gunn and the. Uh, Takeover. Oh, we can do that. Uh, um, I I can pull it up. But, right. Oh, um, do you want to give uh want to give Ant Man a grade for? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, yeah, I got my notebook here. So let's see. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try as a system. Characters in development. Hmm. Out of out of one full point, would I would I give it a full point? 
but they're gonna on a scale of what? Well, I was thinking like uh, uh, do a character like either a zero to a one, and then I got five sections, and whatever those five sections are, you add them up and just times it by two, and we got a ten. Like, uh, that makes sense, or that's confusing. Confusing. You can try that. <laughs> um. <sighs> What about the story? Did you like the story? What's the story you think? I I like that. It. It, um, it was definitely different from other Ant Man movies. It wasn't just like a heist. It was just like shit was actually happening. Yeah, I, I did like the story. Uh, I did like Kang's part. I I found some things I, I didn't care for. There, there's, 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 there's always so many things in these movies that I don't care for, but. Overall, especially because I think my expectations were really low going into this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Was dope, I was just like, it's, this is going to be way they mess it up. And when I watched it, I was just like, it's all right. It's just a pretty dope little movie. Um, I think that was my problem. I went in with kind of high expectations. I remember I was getting amped up, and I was like, I need to stop getting amped up because this movie could be trash. See, I caught myself right before I got too amped because I was, um, I was like... I was like, this is going to be the best in the stage for it, going to save it. Um, and I was like, hold on, hold on. Because you, you remember, I, I don't want to get Captain Marvel again. So I was like, yeah, Marvel never fails. And then they hit me with that piece of shit. But, um, so I was like, yeah, it's probably not going to be that good, but it's going to be entertaining. And I saw it, and I was like, yeah, it was better than I expected. It was better than Thor, like, on Sunday. Uh, oh, that fucking movie, bro. I actually, I enjoyed watching it more than, um... Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Wait, you, you enjoyed which one more than that? Uh, and, uh, this, this recent Quantumania, I enjoyed that better than... Um, I'll, I'll say I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. Also, I think it's because my expectations are really high for... Um, they really fucked up, Multiverse of Madness, Madness, bro. Madness, bro. I, I was actually going to watch it again. I was going to watch it again. I that I should have learned from that one because I went in there with super high expectations. Yeah, yeah. I just left that movie so disappointed. And I was like, looked at my sister. I was like, I don't like, I don't know. That's when like my my spirit started to like diminish for Marvel so, movies. Was it Doctor Strange like one of your fa- he's one of your favorites, right? Of the movies, like the first one was really good. It was good. And especially you see him in Infinity War and he's like fucking fight Thanos and Miguel. They can only go up from here, and he's just fucking getting nerfed nonstop. That's true. And doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, um, that movie was kind of. That movie was just fucking mid as hell. So I'll say story. I'll give it a full point for the story, characters, and development. I like. I like Kang. I like Scott. I like Janet. Um, did you like Janet? For, wait, Janet. Wait, Hope. No, not Janet. Who's, who's the watch? Hope. Yeah. Like hope, I wish she was. I wish she. You're right. She didn't get that many parts. Um, it was more. I feel like it was more focused on Scott and his daughter, which like that's what, sense. That's well, what, they should have called the Ant Man Quantum Mania instead of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Like yeah, exactly. It was like I, was, I don't know. Like I, 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 I like her even um, in the first Ant Man and the Wasp. You know, like I, I think she's yeah. a cool character. You know, she's not like over the top, and she's like she's pretty badass. I like how she flies and all that. I like the blasters. That's one of my my, my, my problems. I'm like, why don't they give Ant Man blasters? Like, he's gotten a new suit. He just shoots out little shrinky things. Yeah. Let's <laughs> say so. I'll say the story. And I'll, story. I'll give it a one. Acting. I think it was just Marvel. It was just the daughter. Beginning. I feel like right before they go to the quantum realm. When Janet yells, yeah, shut it off. I just remember hearing that, and I was like, "Bitch, you've been acting for years. Like, how did you? How was that delivery so bad?" <laughs> shut up, man. shut up, shut up, man. Man. I'm Like, stop, stop. All right, I'll give it a point eight for that. Characters and whatever, I'll give. I don't. What do you think was better, the the characters or the acting? Um. Probably the characters. I think the acting's never like that great in these movies, you know. Yeah, I'll give it a point five for the acting. I like Kang. Definitely. Probably one of my favorite villains, if not my favorite villain. Yeah, like I especially, went. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It's especially like I was annoyed that he died, but then watching that screen crush, he's probably not dead. He just shrunk down. Yeah, 
And they said like so now maybe it. he will, he won't need the machine because he's like in that like uh that power like he won't need the his fucking thing to his, his <laughs> chair anymore. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. the other way they did his chair or whatever his little throne and that shit was dope. Yeah, like, I was, and I like it. it. Was all everything was about circles? Like his whole thing was circles. So that's why I was like, mm-hmm. I could see relations to Shang Chi and all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I really, I, sorry, dude, but I really like the scene where like um, Janet touched it and saw all the stuff and just like how dark he got. He just started murdering people, bro. Just yeah. Even when they, when he was winning and the, the freedom fighters ran at him, <clears throat> and he just comes out and they're like run, and they all just start spraying, and he's just like crushing people. He's just yeah. like, dude, I, yeah, I really, really like the bro. Then, I like, I like any time he's like speaking, like I don't know, he's like really like intense with it and um. Yeah, I like how he like promised to bring Janet back. He promised not to destroy her reality, which I believe him too. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would take that deal. He's like, yeah. He's like, so who cares? She's like, no, I seen all the people you killed. I'm like, mm, I want to get back home, bro. I was like, I'm like that. That sounds like a them problem, not a me problem. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I, I never met anyone from those planets. I don't. I don't really yeah, care about them. they don't exist. I never even heard of multiple timelines. <laughs> so now I know. You want another? I don't need another me, bro. It's just, it's just me, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I really like that scene. Like, like, he went like, instantly evil, but you could tell like he's not pure evil, you know. No, just like he like, remains. Yeah, it just has to. Be, it has to be done. What about the cinematic effects? Do you give that a full point? No, no. give that a point five. It's, it's always just rough and shit. I mean, honestly, that's all Marvel. Yeah, and being dialed in, I was not really dialed in. Um... There was some parts it was. If it was Kang, I was in there, like, everything. But then there'd be some parts, like, I was talking to my girl, and she was just like, uh, she was like, I, I was falling asleep in that movie, I'm not going to lie to you. And I was like, damn. And she usually, like, she'll usually like some of Marvel movies. She's like, oh, this movie's good. Like, Shang-Chi, oh, this is great. This movie's good. But this one mm-hmm. was feeling it. I'll, I'll put it give it a point five as well. I'm just going to yeah, say that. I, feel like I, was, I wasn't disappointed. Like, I don't know. Like, I, again, I think it was, like, my expectations were low, so, like... I enjoyed this movie more than I thought I did. Like, I didn't leave the theater, like, feeling, like, disappointed, like, uh, you know? Yeah. But also, I didn't expect much from it. So, after doing this little thing, I have, uh, out of a 10, 10 being the best, a 6.6. 6. Hmm. You good with that? I'm good with that. You good with that? Do you think it should deserve better? You can do your own review. You can get whatever grade you want. I think, I think um, I'm just trying to do a finer wave so I won't be biased because sometimes I just go in on movies I can't stand. I was gonna give it, a, I was gonna give it a four, bro. I was legit gonna give this movie a four. God damn! All right, I'm, I'm glad you have that system. All right, so for me, I'll probably give it like a. I wish like, I can't remember like my last like ratings and stuff, but maybe like a. It's a new year, baby! All new year. I'll give it a, a solid, solid seven. seven. Give it a seven. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say seven point one. We'll go solid seven. Did, would you? Want to, I know this is totally offset. Would you, Would you want to do uh, uh, mayors of Kingstown? We're definitely yeah, we do that when the show's done. Yeah, we're, oh yeah, we're definitely doing the Last of Us. A hundred percent. Yo, does that drop at six p.m. for you? Since you're on the West Coast. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Probably gonna watch Marriage of Kingstown in a bit, and then watch La- uh, Last of Us later. I don't think I finished last week's episode. I had like ten minutes left, and I was like, I went to go do something, and I was like, ah, fuck it. He's gonna oh, do some the, dumb shit from uh, Marriage of Kingstown. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I can't remember what happened. Yeah, yeah. And like Iris is gonna do some dumb shit. He's gonna do some even dumber shit. You know how it is. Fucking. So yeah, we could talk about the DC a little bit. Um I seen a lot. Of, some people didn't, didn't. I think don't, don't like it that what he's doing. But you got fucking haters though. Like goddamn. Like we had years <coughs> of the big, the big whatever main superheroes. We have like two shit, shit, bro. We we, we have we have really like how many Batman do we have right now? Just one, right? No, but I have two. But I have Michael Keaton's old ass back. And then you know, like, uh, I'm not excited about that at all. But like whatever. I thought they were supposed to can. I heard they were supposed to cancel that. Like they cut his scenes, but now they're showing it all over the commercials. So maybe they're not. Yeah, they have to because they're trying to get people to see this fucking movie. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm just sick. I'm, I'm fucking over it. I'm ready for a reboot. Like, this shit didn't work. Yeah, yeah. would I like to see Henry Cavill stay as Superman? Yeah. yeah. But is it the end of the fucking world? No. Nah. Like, dude, we... I feel like the DC fans, no offense to anyone that listens, there's a DC, like, like hard DC fan, but they're, like, way more critical, I feel like. <laughs> like, they're, they're not happy with anything, bro. They're just fucking moody, bro. Yeah, but, like... I'm... I'm, I'm like, <laughs> This, this isn't this, the movies weren't fucking working. There was no consistency. Everything was different. Like, like you look at fucking like like um Shazam feels like it doesn't fit anywhere. No, but they're keeping him. I don't know why. I think they're waiting until after the movies drop to come to a decision. There's no way you can't get rid of fucking Henry Cavill and keep the other people. I don't know. Fuck. But it's like Gunn likes that kind of weird shit. Like Gunn does like some of that quirky fucking. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I hope they get rid of it. That's literally if, if your second villain is you fighting some old ass people, bro. That's how I know you ain't shit. Yeah. yeah exactly. Not even fucking fighting Black Adam, but like that's the thing. Like, look at the Black Adam movie, which is mediocre. But like, could you picture him fighting fucking Shazam? No. Like, the, the movies felt completely different. Like, like that's why they had to. That's why they had to get Henry Cavill as Superman to be in it. Because if they would have had a fucking Shazam up there, they were like this fucking goober, bro. Exactly. But like, and that's the thing. Like, like, like there, there was, there was like no consistency, and I'm ready for like some something consistent. My, I just hope that they don't try to make it like too formulaic, like Marvel. Mm. Try to make it too funny. I want, like, a more serious tone. I don't need... Like, I didn't have a problem with, like... Everybody, like, didn't... Nobody liked Batman v Superman because it was so serious. It was so dark. Like, I didn't mind that. Like, we don't need two funny universes, but... I just want something consistent, and I want... I just want some, I just want some fun movies to watch, but I'm, I am excited. I, I do trust James Gunn because he knows shit about comics, you know? Yeah, and then... Like, he stays faithful to comics. Like, Suicide Squad, which is supposed to be, like, funny. That shit works so well. Like, it... And he made you care about characters that you never even heard of, the most ridiculous characters. And that's why, like, people, like, complain. A lot of people are like, oh, well, why is he making these characters that no one heard of? I'm like, bro, he's going to give, like, validity to these characters that, like, instead of, like, having, like, the big block- blockbusters right up front, they're going to develop them. Like, they're going to do, like, a, a Supergirl legacy kind of thing, which will be, I think, a lot of people are hating on it. They're like, oh, they're going to have a Supergirl before they have a Superman, but, like... The thing is, right. we had to, like we need a break, bro. You know, we need and build up to it. He, he, he has a lot of complaints. Gods and monsters for, for phase one, but think, like, yo, we just literally got the big name superheroes up front right away. Why are you gonna reboot the universe and immediately have the same exact characters? Just you know, it's gonna be too confusing. But like, still, we're getting a Green Lantern for. That's gonna be he fucking fire, bro. That's gonna be fire. Said, like, he said it's gonna be like a true, like a true detective type show. Like, you've ever seen True Detective? Yeah. It's it to be like that. It's gonna be like a, like a true detective fucking show, but with the Green Lantern Corps in the universe. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be dope, bro. Shit's gonna be crazy. And HBO Max, they have like their their budget is better than fucking like a Marvel studio movie, you know? Like the CG is gonna look better. Like it's it, it's gonna be dope. Um, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking. It, it all sounds good to me, man. Yeah, I, I not nah, like 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 a swamp thing. I'm cool. With, like I'm cool with all those, honestly, man. Like I I like to, to, to change. Thing, bro. Huh? I forgot about swamp. I'm even excited for that, especially because I feel like that that's just gonna be dark. And like I haven't ever been much into swamp thing, but I hear he has great stories and like like the characters like dope. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this thing right here. Can't really see it, but it's like the the chart. It says Shazam. Comes out in March. Oh, that means we gotta watch Shazam next month. Fuck, oh, man. God damn. God damn, bro. So Shazam, Flash. Then it says Universe Reset. Fucking Blue Beetle. Is that a movie or a TV show? show? Movie. Fucking Blue mm-hmm. Beetle. Then Aquaman. I forgot about Aquaman. And the Lost Kingdom. <laughs> Why not? I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not lying to you. I'm not that really excited about. Is the Waller one? Yeah, I, but I feel like it's, it's gonna. It's, it's gonna have a lot of villains, though. Yeah, I think that's the only thing I'm, I'm like. Okay, it should be like 
have a lot of access to all these other heroes. Yeah. Is that a show or a movie? Live action series. That's fine. That's fine. I'm all, and I'm all for Batman the Brave and the Bold to have like a Robin and Batman. Yeah, they're finally getting fucking Robin. When was the last time you saw Robin? Besides and it's, it's, it's Donald it, in the '90s. And it's gonna be uh, it's isn't it? His, it's his son one, right? The Damien one. Yeah. yeah. Which means you might, be able, you might have Nightwing in it. Yeah. Superman. Point, you might be able to find Red Hood in it. Yeah. And then um, Superman Legacy. So you get, we're getting a young Superman, and we're getting a Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which. These are like these are all good ass movies. I, I'm even down to see Booster, Booster Gold and live action series. I'm fine with that, bro. Dude, I, I, I think. Dude, look, at, look at you little fucking peacemaker, bro. Yeah. And no one can talk about John Cena like that. Nobody. No, and that, dude, I that I love that. Show. And even had those like, emotional moments in it too. I agree. Completely agree. That means I will have to pull up a list for us to figure out what we will be watching. I see we do some breakdowns. I, I had a list, but I got to go through it again. Yeah, uh, but yeah, 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 people are just fucking haters. And they don't like change, but the DC, the DC EU wasn't working, and yeah, just as long as he doesn't try and make it too campy like Marvel, which I don't think he will though. Yeah, because I was thinking like, like Suicide Squad, they're funny people. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, they're funny. Plus, it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so like obviously. Um, but if he has free range to do his own thing and set up like a consistent story, I think it's gonna be. I have faith in it. I'm excited for it because shit, it's going to be something different, man. Because Marvel's not switching up anything anytime soon. No, they but they need these other fucking they need these other companies to come in. Uh, like they need DC to do good yeah. so they can step up their shit. Yeah, you, you seen they did. Uh, mm-hmm. They I think I said I don't know if you used to be on IG at all, but um, they did put a bunch up like uh, what's his name, Kevin Feige. He mentions that uh, I think Deadpool will be rated R and shit like that. Yeah, he came out with a few other things. He said that. He, did you see what I sent you about? Um, he admits that there's too many uh, Marvel shows going on right now. Like he said, he believes it's too, it's too much, and then the take away from the quality. I always forget to check my Instagram. If you send like an Instagram link directly to like my phone, then like I'll, I'll check that. I was just. Like, I'll get, I get, I always get random Instagram notifications, so, like, I kind of, like, forget to, like, check on them. All right. I'll show you, because I, I, I got to watch, I, I'll find the video on YouTube. Uh, I think he does, like, a whole, like, like, a, a conversation or something, like, a, some, a panel or something, and he says, like, yeah, there's too many shows going on right now, like, we got to cut back, so, like, I guess maybe make the quality better, I'm hoping. I, I haven't watched, I just seen, like, the snippets. He's seen Remember, she. No, he's seen she Hulk. He was like, that. no. He said he's seen She Hulk. He's like, bro, this show is fucking garbage, bro. Yeah, he was like, like but, but remember how excited we were when Disney Plus was being announced? Like, yo, they're gonna have like movie level, movie budget shows. None of that. And every show that came out was just media. Dude, I'm not even saying Loki. Loki was the best one, but Loki pissed me off too. Why is Loki getting beat beat up by humans? Bro, you are telling me, kid? You are telling me? Why is he like? God. How do you go from fucking pure evil destroying the world in, in Avengers to immediately trying to save the world, you know? Like, And he's just a joke, too. Like, they make him kind of jokey in that. Like, yeah. Like, I like Tom Hiddleston. I, I really like the show, especially, like, the emotional moments of the show, but... Yeah. That show's overrated, in my opinion, even though it is the best one. Um, but, I, but it's just... I did like WandaVision, though. I thought WandaVision was good. I thought it started off good with WandaVision. Yeah, I, I like WandaVision because I think her acting was really good. Just like, but there, there's moments in like Moon Knight that were really good, but just like, same with like Moon Knight, where like, had like, there were some scenes that were really good, and I, Oscar Isaac's acting was just like on point, but then, yeah, we all know what happened at the end of that. It should just fell flat. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. Hawkeye fumbled the, 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 you know, fumbled their, their finale. I honestly forgot what Moon Knight's finale was. Oh no, that's when they they were fighting creatures, right? Yeah, and, and then, then that shot wings. Oh, yeah, I don't know. She, yeah. The, she was the the avatar for the hippo, but got wings for some reason. Make a sense, bro. Is is there any shows that we can do for next week review that you would want to do, or even um, like? We missed a lot of things, so we could, there's like 
She just told me we didn't do Dream Train. Okay. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't do Love and Thunder. We didn't do Black Adam. Is any of those you want to watch again? No. <laughs> 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 Don't make me, I do I, I could watch Black Adam before I watch Thor Love and Thunder ever again. I, I'd rather do that. I uh shoot. Is, there, is there anything else? Um I gotta I gotta do a better job. I'll do a better job for next episode having more, like more topics to talk about as well. Like actually start saving my news feed again because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I, I mean, I always like the news feed because it's always news to me too because I didn't look anything up. <laughs> <laughs> I got these today. I don't know what these are. It's called The End. I don't know. Can't it's like six That's issues. Right yeah, six issues with 20 bucks. I had like a bunch of Mar- Marvel characters on the back. So I was like, fuck, I got to buy this. Yeah, I've read comics in a while, but I still have like a bunch. Yeah, I got a bunch over here, man. You guys read them? Yeah, I have to finish that Batman one, bro. Wait, when he gets his back broken, it's but it's like so much. It's too fucking long. But, but I finished the Iceman one. I'm gonna start some other ones. I got oh, I bought some. I, bought, I think I bought some Fire Ash one. Let's see where it's at. Nope, nope. I, I this is another OG this Marvel one, but I gotta. Right oh yeah, okay. you had like the OG too. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I got a few things. I got, I got a little. Uh, when uh, Wolverine's kids fight each other, I haven't read yet. I want to get some comics, man. Huh? I, I want to get back into some comics. I used to read comics. I just get super baked and I read them, and it's pretty interesting for me. <laughs> you know, it'd be cool if this was made into a movie, man. <laughs> yeah. And I just put on a Marvel movie, and I'm just like, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. But yeah, we'll we could end it here then. Um, and we'll, we'll, yeah, we can we can we can talk during the week of what to. Cause yeah, we don't watch Black Adam if I have to, but I don't want I don't want to. But. <laughs> I don't want to either. But we'll we'll figure we'll definitely figure something out. Uh, did you ever watch the uh, Bad Batch? I I never watched it. I wasn't really a fan. I, but. There's a. Um, there's a detail of the Jedi on Disney Plus. Um, a new one, right? Did it come up the new episode yeah. of Visions? I think it was. No, I don't know about Visions, but damn, Visions is pretty dope. I forgot about that. They're supposed to come out with a new season soon. That's, that's dope. But they, now it's like a, another animated show. It kind of looks like. I think it looks kind of like the Bad Batch, but it's like all about like different Jedi and stuff like that. Oh, like an episode that I watched where, like before Dooku turned evil, he was still like a Jedi. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That'd be always cool. We could do something like that. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll look into it. Uh, I'll get back with you probably later today and do some research on stuff like that. Thank you. All righty, man. Well, that was fun. Do uh, have one viewer? Yes, sir. I think I can't even tell. Oh, we're... I gotta figure, I'm gotta. i going to have to figure out how to work this as well. Put some more gifts back up here and shit like that. But all right, man. Mm-hmm. We, if you want to do it next week, let me know. I, I don't think I'm doing anything next week, so. Yeah, you probably shoot for Sunday. Saturday, Sunday again. One of those days. Yeah, either or, man. I'm not really doing much anymore. All right. All right. All right. All right. Later, dog. All right. Signing out. Hey, R.A.P. Tommy. We haven't talked about that. that uh, no, Frank. Frank, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jason David Frank. Yeah. R.A.P. to that man. OD. Right, he, man. He OD'd, right? Mm-hmm. I think he OD'd. But I think he killed himself. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn, it's even worse. That man went to... How dare you disrespect him? He didn't do drugs. He did it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think, but I think, I think he committed suicide, though. Damn, he went out to Samurai way, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm laughing about a good community. I'm going to be right They're going to write me, I am not following you and listening to you anymore. <laughs> All right. I was going to make a joke, but never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll text it to you. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. Later.